The National Brotherhood of Fathers' Rights welcomes you to an enlightening presentation for fathers in trying situations. Join us for a private audience discussion with Mr. Dennis Gack, founder of the National Brotherhood of Fathers' Rights, and questions by Mike Hill, an NBFR associate. On this audio companion CD, Dennis will give you insights into a wide variety of fathers' rights cases. Mr. Gack has authored the nine books in the complete father's rights protection system that you've received. He has an extensive legal background with 20 plus years in family law and specifically in father's rights cases. He's a source of knowledge that even practicing attorneys turn to for insight and valuable information. This audio companion CD provides legal information and our information is not to take the place of individual legal advice as obtained by an attorney. This CD is a fast-track primer, giving you a quick review of many common father's rights issues. Let's listen in now. Next area that I'd like to uh, address is uh, vacating an order or setting aside a default. Um, guys will often call and they'll say that there's an order entered against me, as we've already talked about, that I didn't know about. I didn't show up at a hearing because I didn't know there was a hearing. And it could be an extremely abusive amount of child support or a violation of your rights by saying you did something to your kids and you didn't, so your, your, uh, your uh, visitation or, or custody is suspended. Uh, if you were defaulted, which means they won everything they wanted by default because you didn't show up, uh, you can do what's called a motion to set aside a default. There's a special type of motion where you go into court and ask the judge to set aside the default, make the order as if it's never happened, set up a new hearing, and try all the facts, and then they'll issue a new order. Um, that's for default. There's another type of, of special procedure called vacating an order. In other words, if, if you felt that you, uh, you agreed to something under duress, uh, if, if an order was entered, a faulty order was entered, in other words, the judge, the judge ordered A, B, and C, but you discover sometime later in a reasonable amount of time that it actually says A, B, C, D, E, Q, and Z, you know, something other than what the judge said, you can actually go back in the court, and I say in a reasonable amount of time, usually in, in each jurisdiction has its own time frame. In Washington State here where we are, it's one year. You have to discover uh, what the problems are, mistakes, inadvertence, error, um, uh, fraud, misrepresentation, things like that, you can go in the court, ask the judge to vacate the order, undo it, make it like it never existed, and retry the facts again, issue a new order. So you're not stuck, uh, as stuck as you might think uh, you are. Uh, most people never even try this process, and uh, very often you can win. It's, it's certainly worth trying. 